It's a story that is capturing worldwide attention tonight. Members of a British band and their tour manager killed in a fiery wrong way crash. Now it happened in the middle of the night on the I-10 earlier this week. The rising rock indie band called Hers has had just played to a sold out crowd in Phoenix. Team 12's Antonia Mejia joins us from the Rebel Lounge where fans saw what would be their final performance. Yeah, a lot of people out here are shocked to hear about this. Others have even dropped off flowers to pay tribute to the British band. Okay. A sold out crowd of more than 300 came to watch them. The fans were going crazy and cheering them to come back on for an encore and they ended up playing two more songs. But just a few hours later, a fiery crash the duo making up the British band called Hers was headed to California for the last shows on their tour when state troopers say 63-year-old Francisco Eduardo Boyer was in this pickup driving on the wrong side of the I-10, colliding head-on with a band's van, killing the young duo and their tour manager. Super tragic. The indie duo from Liverpool, England had been named as one of the bands to watch, debuting an album that had received much attention. Everything they were doing was looking great, so there's just a lot of buzz around that band and someone we really believed in and we're working on bringing them to Phoenix more. A fan, Justin Yee, actually took these pictures of the two right before they hit the road. I just wanted to meet them and, you know, especially here in Phoenix, like I think it was their first time coming through here, so I wanted to, do wanted to document that. Now a makeshift memorial outside the Rebel Lounge, flowers and the marquee honoring the group leaving fans in mourning. It's a weird feeling, you know. DPS is still investigating this collision and whether or not impairment played a factor. In Phoenix, Antonia Mejia, 12 News.